Hey, what is up everybody? Xiaomi phone to a Samsung TV. In this video, we are mirroring a Xiaomi phone, any Xiaomi Android phone, to a Samsung TV completely free, no need to download anything because everything is just built into it. So it's really awesome. You can use your camera, you can use, you can watch videos if you want to. So let me just open up a video. That's one of my videos. The audio will be from coming right there. Let me just, let me just close that actually. <laughs> oh, actually it's working in the, uh, in the corner right now. Okay. You can use a camera if you want to. So let me just show you a camera right there. See, it's working in the background. And if I take a photo of a cat right there, you can actually open it on your phone and it should be open on your TV as well. You can zoom in if you want to. Let me just zoom in, right? See, it's pretty amazing the way it works. Um, so let's just dive right into it. Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Ruz and welcome to another awesome video. This video was requested a lot in the comment section below. So today we are screen mirroring any Xiaomi Android phone to your Samsung TV, completely free. You don't need to download anything on your phone or anything on your TV, it's completely free. And you just saw it, it was pretty simple, pretty easy and quite frankly, and quite frankly, all it takes is just one simple click and that's pretty much it. So let's just, let's just dive right into it. Oh, oh, and by the way, so before we jump into it, just wanted to tell you that if you find this video helpful, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. That's going to help the channel a lot. And if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely, definitely get back to you. All right, now let's jump into it. All right, so there's a couple things we have to do before we actually jump into it. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do on your Xiaomi phone is to go into your Xiaomi settings. So let me just turn down the brightness just a tiny bit and go to your um, go to your settings. Just a tiny bit slow, but okay. So once you're into the settings, go into the Wi-Fi settings and just turn on your mobile Wi-Fi and make sure the make sure your phone or your Xiaomi phone is connected to your home Wi-Fi. As you can see right there, that is my home Wi-Fi and it's connected to my home Wi-Fi. Now the second option is going to be, let me just go back. The second option is going to be your mobile hotspot. Now in this case, you might have to use your mobile data. Let me just click on it. All right. So the way it works is basically we have to make sure that the the hotspot is running from your phone. That means we have some sort of a connection. I mean, it's kind of complicated, but it's not really. So if you don't have home Wi-Fi, you can go with the portable hotspot. But again, be careful with it. It depends on where you live and depend on what data plan you have. So it might cost you credit or your mobile credit. So in this case, <laughs> yeah, but that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all you have to do on your Xiaomi phone. Just make sure your phone is connected to your home Wi-Fi or any hotspot that is available to you. So in this case, my home Wi-Fi is connected on my phone and that is pretty much all you have to do. Now we have to do the exact same thing onto your Samsung TV. So let's do that. All right, so on your Samsung TV, the first thing you wanna do is go into your menu settings. So just click on menu. There you go. You have the menu settings, go into the general settings. Now inside the general settings, you will find the network settings, really simple. So click on network settings. And by the way, if you have done this before, like me, you could just click on network status that would automatically connect your TV to your available home Wi-Fi. So if you have never done this before, go to your network settings, open network settings, actually click on wireless. By the way, you can go wired as well, but I would not recommend it because it, it needs cables and everything. But I, so yeah, just go, go wireless, click on wireless. Inside the wireless connection, you would see your hotspot and your home Wi-Fi right there. So in this case, that one is going to be my home Wi-Fi. And if you have the hotspot, it should be right there. So just make sure if you're going with the hotspot, make sure your TV is connected to the hotspot as well. So that is really important. In this case, I'm just going to click on my home Wi-Fi, click OK, and we are connected. So yeah, that's that's pretty much all you have to do. Uh, go back. Let's just go back. All right. So now here is a, a bonus tip, actually, in this uh, in case you have an old Samsung TV. So. Uh, what you want to do is, by the way, we don't have to do anything on this TV because this is kind of a smart TV. I would say not Android TV, but it's a smart TV. So, But if you don't have a smart TV, don't worry about it. Just click on the source option right at the top right corner on your remote control. Click on there and you would get you would get multiple options. In this case, you have TV. It should be screen mirroring in there as well if you have a really old Samsung TV. So just click on that and open that screen mirroring tab. That means we are basically uh, manually letting the TV know that we want to mirror something to it. In this case, you don't need it because this is a smart TV and everything is running in the background. So 
yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do. So let me just go back. All right, so TV is connected to the Wi-Fi. My phone, my Xiaomi phone is connected to the home Wi-Fi as well. By the way, the Wi-Fi running on my TV is exactly the Wi-Fi on my um, on my uh, on my Xiaomi phone as well. So it needs to be exactly the same on your phone and on your TV. That is really really important. Okay. All right. So the way it works is really simple. Let me just open up the settings menu again. By the way, we have to do this from the settings. That is probably the fastest way. You don't want to go into the control center and everything. So inside the settings, go into the connection and sharing settings. By the way, it should, it's right there. By the way, go into the connection and sharing settings. Now inside the connection sharing setting, you don't want to go into the cast option. That's for the Chromecast or Android TV. So in this case, just scroll down just a tiny bit until you see a setting called wireless display right there. So see, click on wireless display. As you can see, it's turned on. You can actually turn off, turn on uh, whenever you want. So in this case, when you turn it on, it should automatically detect multiple TVs if you got multiple TVs. So in this case, this one is my Samsung 8 series at the top and the Android TV is running in the other room. So you can do that too. So just click on your Samsung TV and as you can see connecting, it should be, look it right there. It's right at the top. It's connecting to my Xiaomi uh, Note 10 and uh, just give a couple seconds and we are connected. It was pretty easy, right? It's really simple, nothing fancy at all. All you have to do is just follow the tutorial and that is pretty much everything you have to do on to, to mirror a Xiaomi phone to your Samsung TV completely free. We did not download anything, everything is built into it and it's really smooth as well. So uh, before we actually jump into it, just let me just turn up the brightness on my Samsung TV so you can actually see how it works, okay? All right, so. Okay, so the brightness is up and it's looking pretty great. In this case, you can, to, you can do tons on this. By the way, you can even use your camera if you want to. So let me just open up a camera. And by the way, that is me in the camera. Let me just take a quick photo of my computer. I mean, you can see right there. I took the photo, by the way. Let me just open up the photo. It's really, it's it kind of slow. The phone is really slow. Not really slow, it's kind of slow actually. So let me just zoom in. You can, by the way, you can see the zoom in on uh, works exactly as intended on the TV as well. So let me just zoom in more. You can see it's zooming in more. I mean, it's pretty, pretty great. You can listen to music, look, look, you can listen to music, you can listen to uh, podcasts, you can watch videos, basically you can do tons on this. You can even go to YouTube, let me just find YouTube if I can, there you go. I mean the video will be working, the videos will be working on the TV, the audio will be working on the TV. So let me just open up a video just, to, just for an example. Alright, so this is one of my videos, just let me just click on it. The audio... The audio is coming from the TV, which is great if you want to uh, watch a video. And by the way, you see, it's right at the bottom. It's actually showing you that it's, um, you know, it's running on the TV. So, yeah, it's pretty great the way it works. Uh, that's pretty much it for the video. By the way, the, the way you disconnect is really simple as well. So let me just quickly show you. Go into the settings tab. Go all the way down to connection sharing settings. We have to go back to the wireless display exactly as we did before. Click and there you go. It's connected right there. Just click on that and it's going to ask you to disconnect. So let me just, it's by the way, uh, keep an eye on the TV. So let me just click on disconnect and bam, we are disconnected. We're back to the TV. It's really simple. And the way you reconnect is also simple. Just find your TV and just click on it. And let me just turn it off, turn it on again. And you, until you see your Samsung right there, see we're connecting. It should be connecting as well. And it's really simple. It takes a couple seconds since we disconnected it and we are connected again. Pretty amazing the way it works. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I'll catch you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I'll catch you next one. Peace out. Well, all right, so that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. It was really simple. And again, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely, definitely get back to you. So, well, I'm Riz and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.